spin, telling it like it is. All right, just when you think you've heard it all when it comes to teens, and I have one, so I'm paying attention <laughs> to this, this one might have you saying, wait, what? Uh, the new methods teenagers are turning to to get that quick buzz is pretty scary. Reporter Elizabeth Irwin is here with a straight story. Oh boy, Elizabeth. I've got to tell you, Stephen and Catherine, two things I never thought would appear in the same sentence tampons and vodka. Do I have your attention? Good, because if you're a parent, you really need to hear this. Quick or high, uh, they think it's going to last longer. It's, it's more intense. This is not isolated to any school, any city, any, any financial area. This is everywhere. When we heard how kids are getting drunk these days, we thought, no way. So we hit up the experts to find out if it's an urban legend or if it's legit. There's been documented cases of people going to the hospital with alcohol poisoning just from utilizing it that way. Officer Chris Thomas spends his days patrolling the halls of a Valley High School. He's heard firsthand how kids are getting tipsy. What we're hearing about is teenagers utilizing uh, tampons, soak them in vodka first before using them. You heard right. Teens taking tampons, soaking them in vodka, and inserting them there. It gets absorbed directly into the bloodstream. Um, there's no barrier, there's no stomach acid, there's nothing to prevent it. I would expect it to absorb fairly quickly as well because it's a very vascular structure. This is definitely not just girls. Guys will also use it and they'll, they'll insert them into their rectums. And that's not all. Using a beer bong rectally is the same concept as a vodka soaked tampon. Yep, rather than the traditional beer bong you'd find at a college party, Kids are sticking the tube elsewhere to get wasted. A lot of people believe that it would cover it up. Your breath won't smell like alcohol, so you can hide it from the parents, hide it from the police. But take it from this cop. It won't work. It's not just jail time that might be a problem. These new tricks are really risky and could cause some serious trouble. It can cause mucosal irritation, meaning the vaginal wall can be really irritated. Plus, what if you overdo it? Irritation could be the least of your problems. Some of the dangers associated with this is there's no barrier. And no gag reflex. If it isn't going down the hatch, you won't have that telltale sign you've had too much to drink, which means you won't throw up if you've got alcohol poisoning. You'll pass out before you know there's a problem. It's problematic because you don't really know how much you are, you're going to absorb. We decided to find out. Turns out a super tampon can hold about a shot of vodka which is pretty potent when it's going straight into your system. If a person does pass out or lose consciousness, healthcare professionals won't necessarily know, you know, that they have to look in those areas and that may delay treatment. Okay, if I'm a parent of a teenager, what can I do to make sure these are used for the job they're intended, nothing more? Well, then you need to get involved. You know, stop being your kid's friend and be their parent first. And one more myth we want to take care of. Kids apparently think that getting drunk that way means they'll pass a breathalyzer test because they didn't actually drink the booze. Not true. The test checks out what's in your bloodstream, not what's on your breath. Back to you. Very 